Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Inquisitor Martyr with our Psyker background. And in the last Psyker episode we actually didn't get major upgrades for our character. But anyhow that will not you know, prevent us from going on. And I think I'm going with this mission. I think it's a Nurgle infestation. And I know we had a Nurgle infestation in a, infest a demonic incursion in the last episode. But I want to have some nurgle touch in this episode. I don't know. It's been the month of Nurgle. The month, the last month were of Nurgle. So I don't know whether that is with that. But anyhow, let's see whether that 453 power rating mission is actually you know good enough for us to do thousands of body are being bulldozed into a sacred crematoriums of a into the sacred crematoriums of a hive city following a rot plague outbreak the source of the tainted disease was hidden by the uh, atmospheric storms on the sky platforms on the upper hive Others face the corruption as the ventral fist of mankind. Cha um, threats are chaos, cultists, chaos, demon station, and weapon, chaos engine, all of course nurgly. And objectives clear the entire area of hostiles to complete the mission. I had to. No, wait. Okay, that sign is approached. Alright, I didn't say anything. Clear the entire area of hostiles, terminate all, abs all enemies. Between the stars, the ancient unseen enemies of mankind wait and hunger. Be strong and give them no quarter. So sorry guys, I actually thought that this was a... Although we have there some Nurgle demons, I thought that was a... Nurgly, more Nurgly style mission. No, it's a Nurgle mission actually. But as you can see, it is quite intense. So let us retreat for now. Resource 10 health versus per second, that's nice, so we should have a higher health regeneration. So let us now get into them, I don't know why, whether that is the right choice, but they are gone, nice. And then let's take out this guy. So, anyhow, we are not having upgrades, guys, I know this... You know, until we get to the next story mission, the game is going on and it's dragging on a little bit. But, you know, if I only do one mission a day with this character, so it actually is dragging on. I'm sorry for that, but that's just it. Um, what I could do is play in the off a little bit more, but currently I, it is time-wise not really working out for me. There's so much stuff going on. So, sorry for that, but anyhow, I hope I will have more time in the future for this game, because still, I really love this game. And I'm still astonished we are now in episode 370 plus, so how many episodes I've actually put out of this game. This is absolutely insane. So that guy's gone. Going now up here. We are going to get back there anyhow, so that's not going to be the problem. I'm not sure how long this episode is going to take. As I said before, purchase are always the longest mission type available because you know you have to get through every single corner of the map, which you you know, with a stolen relics mission, with a hunt, whatever, you don't really have to do that. But anyhow, that is now what we have to face. Of course, I run into it. But I stay just behind it. Well, as I said in the last episode, we are in the next week, of course, going to play Warmer, Warmer Tide 2. I hope I said the title there correctly. I have played the first part as well but I have to say I may have played it a little bit too late I think I played it a year or over a year after its release so there actually were not too too many players I hope with the this one coming up there and you know I'm playing it from day one on actually I think you can already play it but I'm not sure whether you can actually 
whether you can actually put out footage of it by now because I was thinking about playing the open beta um, I think two weeks ago, Saturday two weeks ago or the weekend two weeks ago but you were not permitted to put out any footage whatsoever so there I didn't do it. I have to check whether I could already put out footage of yet. So that is definitely going to be a game coming up this week or maybe once this episode is coming out I may have already put it out that may be anyhow what I want to say if you have any suggestions what kind of game I could play whether it is a 40k related game or not please tell me I'm always looking for new games to play which is you know which I just want to do it can be crappy I play crappy games as well so just give me a shot, write me a comment, write me a private message, anyhow I will react to it and will probably even I would play the game. Let's see. Suggestions just, you know, get to me. Anyhow, with this game we are in a perch. That is quite nice. What I think coming <laughs> now that I looked in the left corner and saw our operating, which I actually would like to chat with check which our highest power rating actually was. I am not too sure about it. It was not too too high I think. So that's too bad. Still I'm every time amazed that I after so many hours of this game I still like it. But there you can still see a little bit of the quality of the game and I know you can't compare the state right now with the end of the game because when I started playing this game it was actually not very much and it developed you always every a couple after you know a few weeks a month or two you always had new toys so to say to um, play so I hope there in the end when the game is being released it, it will be as fun as it is right now at the current state but I have good feelings but as of yet I think the game is absolutely amazing still you know it has it little it's little bugs and little things which aren't worked out by now but I think the game is if you compare the whole route it has taken it is on a very good route I think so all of them enemies I actually th think it's nice that you can already shoot at them during they are teleported in here that is actually quite nice and helps out if the enemies would be bigger enemies and not the small little nerdlings right here nothing there and I had to use but I have to say these skulls are positioned very neatly that is really hard to see them those skulls are hidden there you could you can't see them come on you could have only seen of course the red laser there yes I give you that them I could have seen they actually fail a little bit but anyhow as I said it's a little bit of a running gag for me at least because I nearly every time I walk into them skulls or I die these are the two options dying and running into skulls like it is nothing so that guy just exploded and as well as uh, these guys these guys so we are not even at the half <laughs> as I said medium-sized purchase are just dragging 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 on so let's then take out the big guys which take the most laugh out of me so at least the fire reform there was taken correctly at the right point to take on both of them reborn marauders as of yet so one lightning to him gone he is and then we shall go on so at least those enemies are actually killed off fast and there you actually see why I, you know, is the, I, I'm being honest with you. Purchases are not my favorite, favorite type of mission this game because, especially, you know, currently we only have, or I have only 
been on small or medium sized missions. I can't even imagine a perch on on a large scale. That would be absolutely insane, I think. You know, as well as um, the time which it consumes. With your of course, it would be a little bit cooler if you could get better gear. Like in... Well, I still... It, you know, I, I I don't often, or I actually don't really want to compare Roam for the Game Inquisitor to Diablo 3. But I, in Diablo 3, at least, I had the feeling that there were more... You got more gear than in... Oh, good lord, if I already see that. The problem is, guys, we have to kill. This is a perch. And we actually have to kill... Oh shit, I couldn't get out of there. As I said, Nurgle Beasts are my nemesis in this game. I have I have died to multiple types of enemies. I, I, you know, I died to, I guess, to every enemy type in the game. But Nurgle Hellbrutes are right now, I think, the absolute nemesis for me. The thing is not, if I could face a Hellbrute on itself, the problem is, as you can see, there are li little light bearers around it. Anyhow, doesn't matter, I can kill them all, can't I? Yes, I can. But the problem is that there are... That it has such a high... Um, not regeneration rate, but a... It teleports them in so quickly, I can kill all of them. And then it actually teleports the rest of them in. So that's the huge problem I have with the Nurgle Hellbrood. And there you can see, I can't kill them before she even has teleported them all in. That, the Emperor, let's not do this one more time. That's the huge problem I'm having with the Nurgle Hellbrood. So we try it out one more time. And I am not sure whether we are going to make it, but... No, she's all by herself, so let us try to face her alone. Come on, baby. Come to me. Not working out. She doesn't want to be blasted away all by my... or by herself. That's too bad. So I'm taking those guys out. And compared with the World Bearer Chaos Brute, which, you know, teleports in some Nurglings or Goblers or however they are being called. This thing here is absolutely insane. See, there are the new Nurg Light Bearers. You can't really make anything against it. So, we have my nemesis. Every mission with a Nurgle help route I cannot do right failure now. failure is the most terrible punishment of all. Yes. So again, sorry guys, that is just my nemesis. But nice to know. <laughs> so, another failure. But anyhow, we still got a little bit of loot and experience, I guess. But nothing out of the ordinary here. Guys, that brings us actually to the end of this episode. And as usual, I really thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode anyhow, then please... Give me a thumbs up and subscribe and, well, I will see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.